My name is Mike, and this is the Hot Seat. On the Hot Seat today, coming from the great state of Arizona, Sheriff Joe Arpaio, and forgive me in advance for the uh, mispronunciation, if I have indeed mispronounced his name. Sheriff Joe continues to raise questions that touch on the authenticity of the long-term, long-form rather, birth certificate issued in last April and the possibility Obama is using a fraudulent social security number. His cold case posse needs to see original birth certificates for it can conclude whether Obama should be eligible for the presidential ballot in 2012 and not an electric file or scanned copies. Sources say the panel needs to examine the microfilm documenting Obama's birth, as well as the ink and paper original 1961 birth records the Hawaii Department of Health is supposedly holding in its vault. The posse wants to see the entire microfilm roll containing Obama's birth certificate, not just a microfilm copy of Obama's long-term birth certificate in isolation. Uh, of course, he explained an individual microfilm copy could be forged. But forging the entire microfilm reel on which Obama's birth certificate is in sequence would be almost improbable. The focus on the microfilm records of Obama's birth arose after Arpaio's investigators realized the birth certificate of twins born the day after Obama, the Nordykes, had been released as white on black copies of microfilm to the family by the Hawaii Department of Health in 1966. WND has also reported that Obama birth certificates number appears to be out of sequence with the birth certificates of the Nordyke twins. Now, folks, pay attention to this. The Nordyke twins were born August 5th, 1961, one day after Barry Obama, and their birth certificates were registered August 11th, 1961, three days after President Obama. Yet their birth certificates have lower numbers. Susan Nordyke, the twin born first, has certificate number 10637, and her sister Gretchen has certificate number 10638. Obama, born August 4th, again, one day before the Nordyke twins, has a certificate number of 10641, which again, he was registered before. So shouldn't he have a lower number? And folks, I can verify this through personal experience. I am in the income disability field. And I signed up two insurance policies to a pair of twins. And I knew who was born first by the last four digits of the Social Security number. And the twins said that I was correct. So, folks, this argument by Sheriff Joe holds water. In addition to examining whether or not the long-term the long-form birth certificate is a forgery. The cold case posse is examining evidence that Obama may have a fraudulent social security number. The posse also is looking at records pertaining to Obama's birth narrative that suggest Barack Obama Sr. may not even be the biological father. In total, the cold case posse has assembled some 2,000 pages of evidence in the case, Corsi explained, and is now preparing to conduct interviews to examine a wide range of questions 
including that Obama may not be qualified to be president under Article 2, Section 1 of the Constitution because he was a dual citizen at birth, given that his father was listed as a citizen of Kenya when the future president was born. And what about Andrew Breitbart? He stated that he had videos in which he would expose ties to Bernadine Ray Dorn and Bill Ayers, self-professed communists and leaders of the radical group Weather Underground, who Mr. Breitbart insisted springboarded young Barry Obama's political career. As we know, he died of an apparent heart attack. Michael Savage is raising the question of the possibility of a homicide and not a death by natural causes. Breitbart business partners state that they have videos and will release them in two or three weeks. Why wait? Could Breitbart be another Vince Foster? And I bring Andrew into this because Sheriff Joe, I hope you don't become another Andrew Breitbart. I hope you don't become another Vince Foster. And you know, folks, it is our duty to retake this country by voting third party, or, or I tell you, the alternative is what any sane person doesn't want it to be. Any person, a reasonable intellect, doesn't want a road warrior world. And I find it absolutely criminal that we have a fraudulent president in office. And I submit to you, not only is he a traitor, but those people in Congress that have knowledge that this man is indeed a fake, they also are traitors to this country. And further, those that continue to vote for these monsters are also traitors to this country. It is time to wake up, America. I, too, was in the dark. I, too, made the mistake of supporting GW going into Afghanistan and Iraq. I, too, was bloodthirsty. And I used to laugh at my best friend, Hollywood Johnny S. I used to laugh at his breakfast table. Well, I'm not laughing anymore. And it is time for us to take responsibility. It is okay to admit that you were wrong about Obama, you were wrong in supporting him. It's okay to admit that you were fooled and you were lied to. These people are masters of the game. And if we don't first try to vote these people out, the alternative will be truly catastrophic. My name is Mike. This is the Hot Seat.